Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with some more Rise of Mordor today and we have straight away a sally that has begun. Uh, this is by a Dalian force here. We have some Northmen scouts that just sallied out to attack these Varag bowmen. Possibly not the greatest target to go after because these bowmen are quite good in uh, combat. So you mean, you want to be going after things like uh, the artillery crew or maybe like shock infantry, get a charge off on them. But yeah, this cavalry is getting absolutely messed up. So yes, uh, we are here with some more Rise of Mordor today. And as you can see, we have a 3v3 siege for you today. We have obviously Dale and we also have the Eastlings because they've just had a little bit of a scrap. We've got... Uh, we've got, uh, looks like the Woodland Realm are allying with the Eastling forces, and we also have Erebor, so that is the most weird of the three alliances, personally. Elves and Dwarves working together, you don't see that. And it looks like, uh, looks like those Northland Scouts are going to come for another charge. That's a bold thing to do, they're just going to get gunned down by these archers. Bows! Excellent, excellent, there you go, I mean most of those... Cavalry now gone. As we, as I said, we have Dale. We also have uh, Mordor, and I'm pretty sure it's Gondor is the uh, the third army. Yeah, Gondor in here as well. And there's another Northman scouts unit over here, I believe. I think this is another uh, scouts unit. Oh no, it's Vassal Southron cavalry. Okay, so Mordor sent some cavalry out to sort of like sneak around. So uh, interesting to see what they can do. They're a bit more dangerous. They're shot cavalry, but they might get killed by this Elven King rider that is a uh, well, it's uh, making moves towards them. And uh, I mean, if it charges any of this. Dwarven stuff, it's probably not going to get that many kills. These Dwarven boys have got a lot of armor. Look at the smoke coming up off these uh, siege towers. Looks awesome. But yeah, this is a uh, Fenris uh, Gondran. This is an interesting map. You can actually uh, spawn on this side as the attackers as well. So you can attack from both sides. There's like two walls really with the city in the middle. And uh, the main cap point is here uh, being held by, uh, I believe this is Dale's general here, these Vinland guards. I mean, there's another cap point up there you can go and take, which is why... Uh, the two generals of Gondor and Mordor are up here defending it. But as you can see, the balance of power is not in favour of the attackers. I mean, they have quality in the elves, but quantity is with uh, the defenders in, like, Mordor, etc. And uh, I imagine it's a lot of Mordor troops defending the walls to start with. Yeah, Orc Rabble defending the walls to hold them back. It's not a bad play, to be fair, because then you can just, uh, well, you can just defend... Like, with a basic unit like this, and you can have archers, which I presume they've got archers nearby. Yeah, they've got, like, Uruk archers ready to, like, shoot anything that comes onto the walls. But look at this. This looks gorgeous. The smoke coming off this. The towers in the distance. And the orcs just shouting over me as I try to do my commentary. How rude of them. But anyway, if you're enjoying seeing Rise of Mordor on the, mo on the channel at the moment, I'd like to see more. Uh, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And as you can see... Uh, this uh, Vassal Southron Cavalry has been dealt with by the Abane of the Steps and uh, the Elven King. So that's a, two good units there just wiping out a very small and insignificant shock, inf uh, shock Cavalry. I mean, it's only insignificant because, uh, well, the other two units are so powerful. But yeah, this was done by a... Uh, well, this battle was uh, organized with members of my Discord. So if you'd like to join, then uh, leave... Well, the, uh, the link's in the description. I f why was I going to say leave a link... Yes, because you already have the link to my uh, Discord. No, uh, yeah, the link is for the descrip uh, The link is in the description. Jeez, there we go. Words are hard today, apparently. Um, it's gonna be one of those days. I already know it. Already know it. And you can see here we have some shipmen. These guys are not, uh, javies, but they're not possibly as good as like the Dalian swords, which are definitely like worth bringing. If you've got the money, bring the Dalian swords. But you can see here they're under fire from a. Uh, looks like from Lasgall and Archers. I don't know why the Lasgall and Archers are firing. Really, they don't want to waste their ammo on a. Uh, these shipmen, especially when they're behind crenellations like this, they're going to like have a lot of protection. They do look nice. Wonder if they'll start throwing their javies when they get close. But you can see uh, they've got like deployables ready as well, so they're ready to like stop some sort of assault. Men have already died, probably from these traps. So that's not. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it, it looks like uh, Erebor's about to land though. He's going to be the first to land. And here we go. It's going to be some axe warriors first off the wall. And in, and I imagine, yeah, they're going to take out these uh, half orcs. Are they half orcs or no pillagers? I think I'm getting them mixed up with the uh, Isengard who have the half orcs. And there you go, the officer unit there with his massive hammer. And he's going to be knocked down. That guy will, that guy will get up. He's a hardy orc, orc dwarf. Yeah, they're getting chopped down. And already you can see, they could just Mordor's going to put all of his. Uh, not so great units. So it won't say they're trash, because I mean Orc Pillagers are pretty good. But he's going to hold the pretty poor unit and he's going to allow Gondor to just focus down the uh, dwarves here as they come off the wall and just hold them in place so they can shoot them quite easily. Let's have a volley. Men of Gondor. A volley. 
No, maybe not. But as you can see, the sun will land across the entire wall now. More dwarves landing. They're facing a Gondor Sword Infantry. That could be a fairly even fight. I mean, probably because it would be a one-sided fight because the dwarves would win this every single time. But because of the archer fire coming in. I mean, it looks like that's coming in from uh, more, Gondor in, uh, more Gondor archers there. Yeah, this fight could be a little bit, a little bit more even now with the archer support. And it's the two armies that dress in silver armor. Looks like Dale's sending up troops. Well, is he sending up troops to come and help this? Seems a bit unnecessary. More dwarves coming down here as well. Look at that officer. He's already so bloodied up. He's already taken names. Is that his blood or the enemy's blood? I'm going to go with the enemy's blood because he's got a massive hammer. Don't want to get on the wrong side of him. Look at this. I'm All these towers piling up here ready to land. There's like green noxious gas down there. What is that? It's Mordor just ruining the landscape with its uh, diseased, I don't know, diseased people. And it looks like the elves are finally landing anyway. And they're going to take out this orc rabble like it's no problem at all. These guys, it's like one of the... Met the best uh, infantry in the game against, by far and away, the worst infantry in the game. Or Crabble, yeah, it's just not worth turning up. Uh, it might stand longer because it's on this wall. It, yeah, it might stand longer, but they are just terrible. And, like, Mordor has a lot ready in this gate. I don't know why, because there's, like, literally nothing going for the gate. Uh, but he's got Morgul Legion, he's got uh, Uruk Spears. So that's a nasty little, uh, little defense there, to be fair. We've got Uruk Archers here again, getting some nice angles like their... Uh, Gondorian counterparts. I think they're focusing fire on those elves that are landing up there who are not being even attacked by anything. So yeah, I mean, they're trying to get some kills. I mean, they actually are. They're getting some nice kills. I mean, Urukash is killing these guys. That's pretty impressive. But there they go. They're going to go into combat now. And yeah, these elves will start to get some kills. In they go. Gold against the dark colours of... <laughs> Look at that. The, Mo uh, the Mordor rabble's been gunned down by its own archers. But yes, the elves against the in their gold against Mordor in their dark and black armour. There we go. And there you can see, finally, these things are landing on the walls. We've got the Loki rim onto the walls, and they'll hopefully uh, take out a fair amount of uh, these defenders quite quickly, and then get off the walls to deal with these uh, orc warriors, which is a little better. A little better, these, these guys. I am playing as the Eastlings, so uh, this is, so I'm I'm repping for the attackers to be honest, mainly because I was playing as them. Um, but oh, there! Look at that! Look at that! Erebor axe warrior is breaking one unit already gone. Dalian swords with the support of those Gondor sword infantry and the archers back here have wrecked that. So like maybe Erebor's gonna have a pretty rough game. I mean, he's not got like a huge army. That is the thing that comes with uh, playing as Erebor. You can have a smaller army. I mean, he's got some pretty elite axe warriors back here. He's got some grim hammers. They'll be useful. But uh, yeah, his units uh, maybe aren't, uh, maybe won't be doing so well. Who knows? I mean, let's... Oh, look at this. Look at this cavalry coming up. What is this? Servants of the Eye. And as you can see, uh, the Orc Warriors are now in combat down here. The Eastlings have actually come off the walls. So I have a feeling that this cavalry is getting ready for a charge on uh, these Loki Rim when this, they break through these Orc Warriors. That's unfortunate. You can see uh, they're getting focused down now by uh, archers, by the Elves mainly, and uh, also by the Loki Rim. And there you go. They're going to charge in, and they're going to get a nasty charge off. Those Orc Warriors did the perfect move. And there you go. There's Loki Rim getting absolutely smacked down by the cavalry. And now Archer's coming in and they're going to focus fire on these guys. They've only lost four men. These servants of the eye are nasty. They are horrific. And uh, as you can see, the Loki Rim chasing after them is probably the worst thing they could do. At this point, I was just trying to close the gap, trying to get them it, like, save the majority of my men. And these Loki Rim are getting absolutely destroyed. They're having a really rough time. Evil against evil on this side. And yeah, this uh, this cavalry has only lost one man since that charge. Oh, it's just nuts. This cavalry is just nuts. 
Um, but yeah, it's actually retreating now. It realizes it's a bit harder. And they're actually getting focused on by our, uh, archers of the uh, East Links as well. They've got like an absolute mess going on down here. As you can see, oh, this cavalry's going to get another charge. This could be nasty. Form shield wall men. Oh, God. I think they're trying to, but like they... Like, the whole formation isn't quite out of the uh, out of the gate yet, or like out of this uh, drop down bit, so it's like hard for them to reform. And yeah, that unit's basically gone. 88, I mean, that'll, uh, that'll reduce even quickly, even quicker soon. You can see archers quickly setting up onto this wall, so they can then focus fire down onto the terms of the eye. And the elves are still firing over, as are the Loki Rim archers and the Varag archers. Just trying to get a lot of kills. It's not a bad idea, and you can see these uh, orc warriors now surrounded. And they're uh, probably getting killed off quite easily now. You can see these orc quarries just need so much work done to them. They just, just don't look great. Uh, like I've said in various videos, Mordor could do with a redo. But obviously, uh, we'll, we'll go with it for now. I mean, I do appreciate the modders' work. They do, do do some good work. But yeah, certainly if like any factions were to get, to get a redo, Mordor's one of them. I mean, their servants of the eye look great. But their infantry does not look so great. I mean, the Morgul Legion looks okay as well. Uh, but yeah, these uh, servants of the eye, they're down to 20 odd men, and they're still doing work. They're killing, and now Gondor's coming. Look at that, that's so weird, seeing like Gondor come to the aid of Mordor. But that's what you get in Rise of Mordor, some weird scenarios. And it's absolute chaos, absolute chaos. And now more Loki Rim going, and this is what... These things want now. They want an infantry fight. They don't want the cavalry to be persistently charging. But they're going to be a charge over here. Oh, God. This one did form shield wall, definitely. But uh, luckily, there's shock infantry nearby to come and try and deal with this cavalry. This is the uh, general unit for the Sims of the Eye. So let's see nasty. Now we've got watch post sentries coming up. But yeah, I mean, the East things having a really rough start to the battle. The uh, elves over here still doing their bit. Still fighting this orc rabble, I think, up here. Oh, no. What are they fighting now? Orc throng. Okay. They've been kept at the wall as long as possible, just so they can get as many shots off as possible, I think. But as you can see, uh, this watch post sentry is actually getting itself surrounded. It's not a bad idea. Uh, it's getting itself surrounded, but it's going to allow that cavalry to come back for another charge on these varags. But yeah, this watch post sentry is not great. Not great. You can see them, they look, uh, they're poorly armored, they're basically... I don't know. They are literally just like fishermen. Fishermen of Dale, or of Lake Town. But they're winning, apparently. They're winning decisively against... Uh, well, apparently against these Varag Warriors. But you can see they're going to flank around. But the cavalry might return now, I think, because of that, that move. But over here, it looks like Erebor is still having a hard time. More wavering. He's having a, yeah, having a really rough time, to be honest. Poor dwarves. They're fighting their loyal allies. Uh, not Mordor, but Dale. Dale and Mordor here working together quite well. Got the shield units of uh, like the Dalian swords. And you've also got Mordor with his shock infantry. A nice little combo going on there. And that's helping de uh, defeat these dwarves. I mean, as long, along with the archers here, you can see Gondor sending his archers elsewhere now. Job's done here. They've killed this dwarven unit. Another one is coming up, though. And that one's got uh, three bronze chevrons. So that's a little bit more concerning. And, uh, I mean, the other one's... I mean, there's more dwarves now on the wall as well. I mean, they've got crossbows up here, actually. They should do some work. They should start focusing stuff down. And the elves are over here. They're having to send Lasgal and Blaze coming around to come and help the dwarves. Not the worst idea. I mean, they are running out of our, uh, ammo with some, like, these Vinland uh, yard patrollers. But uh, they are still... They still have ammo for now. And you can see here a hole being made in the wall. I think this is by... This is by the artillery of the Eastlings. I could be wrong. It might be the... Well, actually, it'll have to be. The elves can't have an artillery piece, but you can see opening up a bit in the wall here so you can get cavalry inside to come and do some work. Because as you can see, we have an elven king here. And the elven king is by far and away the best cavalry in the game. Oh, another charge. Oh, it's on shock infantry. Uh, I'm just not having a good game, it would seem. It's, it's quite an old replay, but uh, yeah, I'm not having a good game. That cavalry has just decimated me there. Well played. Well played. This cavalry's done well. And it's getting shot down as it runs away, but it's just not going to be enough. And you can see they're stuck with an issue here. Like, do they pursue? They get flanked here by Gondor. If they uh, hold, they get charged. So, yeah, it's a really hard decision. But there you go. The cavalry is in, and the Elven King is now into action. And, oh, God, that poor... Those watch post sentries, they didn't know what was about to hit them. And you can see, uh, I mean, I think... You can see the Bane of the Steps probably charging to the back of this Gondor infantry. Or at least I hope so. Because that's what it needs to do. It needs to free up this infantry desperately. 
Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they're going after something else. Oh, they might be going after this uh, general here. Or maybe after the uh, Knights of the Silver Swan. Oh, it's a good charge there by the Elven King. Right into the back of that, El that uh, Gondor infantry. That's a better infantry to take out. And we can see the Elven King's now under desperate fire. We're going to see a charge here from the Bane of the Steps onto this uh, Knights of the Silver Swan. It wasn't the greatest charge. They kind of just walked into each other. But we'll have to see who wins this. I'd say Bane of the Steps will probably win this. I think they're slightly better than the Knights of the Silver Swan. And since it wasn't a great charge, um, like, that's just generally what I feel. Like, it's just a poor charge. And the shot cavalry requires a good charge. And you can see, uh, well, you can see Elven King now engaged with the Servants of the Eye. And this is going to be a dicey one now. I mean, these Elven King can take out, like, three uh, Servants of the Eye, apparently, and, like, still, still go still go on. If they like, like, yeah, so if he like had three uh, servants of the eye, let them go one at a time, the Elven King would kill each one and still be okay. Well, not still be okay, but it'd have numbers left. But obviously there's, there's interfer interference in a battle, so there could, have, there could could be some reinforcements arriving. I can't see any at the moment. Uh, there you go, look at that. Bane of the Steps falling back. Or oh, not falling, well, it's actually got out of that combat, and servants, uh, no, not servants of the eye, uh, Knights of the Silver Swan. They're going to try and engage, and they're going to get a okay charge off here. Uh, they got an okay-ish charge. It wasn't the, bra the brilliant charge, but it's a better charge than before, put it like that. And, I mean, numbers, they lost a couple. They haven't lost any here. You can see Servants of the Eye are retreating. But, I mean, it's going to allow the Elven King to come around here. I mean, there's also the Loki Remacement coming up. And there's more troops coming in. But, as you can see, it's this flank here. Oh, this ge enemy general's dead. So, I'm going to say that was the Servants of the Eye general, possibly? Where's Mordor's troops? I can't tell. Has Mordor got any troops left? That's the real question. Possibly not. Um, possibly not. What? It, where is Mordor's troops? Maybe he hasn't got any men left. I'm just trying to find out if he's uh, those goddamn men that <laughs> that general that died was a Mordor. I'm gonna say it was. I'm gonna say it was probably a Mordor. Uh, I don't know actually. Maybe it wasn't. It must be because it's the only one that's in combat. It must be. It's the only one in combat. So yeah, Mordor's generals died. I'm gonna go with. And you can see Loki Rim now engaged with these uh, watch post sentries. This poor guy here, he's like, oh, no, I've regretted it so much. And he just got his head chopped off. Poor man. I'll name him Dave. Rip Dave. Dave was just a mere fisherman. And then he was enrolled into the Dalian army to fight some angry eastern men with huge axes but uh there you go you can see the uh knights of the silver swan broken with the help of the uh, well the elven king and the uh, bane of the steps and the loki remacement they've all just broken that unit so that's a huge thing to break kill off again just want to kill off as many of these as possible Varag bowman being very very aggressive i mean there's that's okay because these guys have swords so they're okay in combat they also have missile ability, so that's not a bad idea. And they can shoot into the backs of these Bardings now. I mean, it looks like the uh, Elven King is going to go for the Bardings. This is going to be a really nice charge. Uh, they can just go after all these Bardings and go into the back of these Spears. Oh, this is going to be nasty. It's very aggressive by the uh, Elven King. Being very risky here. Like, he gets damaged just as much as the next unit. I mean, these Bardings will probably do a nasty damage. And they're going to go into the backs of this uh, Watchpost Sentry. Probably break this and then get out of here alive. Or as alive as possible. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Breaking that unit instantly. Now the uh, Bane of the Steps coming in. They're going to have their their attempt. I mean, it wasn't as great. They held the Bardings in combat, though. And now they're going into the Vinland patrollers of the Elven King. There you go. Spears broke there. And now everything can burst through this hole here. Like a, It's like a dam that's just been opened up. And the Arch is firing to the back of these watch post sentries. They're going to lose anyway. And there you go. You can see, just like all with that, like the cavalry getting inside for the attackers. It's opened up so many avenues. You can see Bardings now engaged here with the Loki Remacement. These Bardings actually might win this fight. They're actually quite good in combat. I mean, they've got crossbow support. Have the uh, have the Eastlings. It's not the greatest. Oh, catapult's going off. Catapult is going off. Where? All the way back there. This Onager is firing. This is Gondor's Onager. What is he firing at? I think he's firing at those uh, crossbows. Yeah, I think he's firing at these crossbows here. Not the best target, because crossbows are just... Like, not the greatest, I don't think. They're not the greatest. They're hard to set up in uh, Rise of Order and get good angles. As you can see, the dwarves still fighting on the walls with Gondor. How many lives have been lost just over this one wall? 
Who knows? Um, he's fighting over here as well still. Has he got uh, any Bane of... The, not Bane. Uh, Grim Hammers. He has his general Grim Hammer. But I think his uh, normal Grim Hammers are probably in combat. Oh, are they over here somewhere? A uh, whole Guardians. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Grim Hammers, yeah, they're all over here. They're all engaged. Uh, this is a bit of a blob, though. They need to be concerned about this to uh, the attackers. This is a lot of blobbing of uh, shock infantry. A lot of Hall Guardians, a lot of Barrack Warriors, Grim Hammers. Just trying to break through. And it's only one Gondor soldier unit like, holding them back. They don't need to send in that much. Gondor charging in here against Loki Rim. More cavalry about to like go off. You can see the uh, Elven King is still looking hot. He's only lost four men. This guy is... This unit is insane. And you can see Uruk Spears getting ready. You've got pole arms over with Morgul Legion getting set up. These guys exhausted. They must have like traveled from the other side of the map. Let's look at that officer. He looks kind of cool. <laughs> that officer is kind of cool actually. Kind of like him. Reminds me of Azog a little bit. They need to be careful with this uh, Elven King. I don't want him to just get like shot to pieces just for no reason. Just stood there solitary on his own. You can see the uh, Bane of the Steps has a nice line of uh, access all the way down these to these arches. I mean, these spears are setting up here. They really need to move earlier. But he's allowed these spears to uh, kind of get in the way. So obviously, like, there's two streets to try and defend with this Uruk Spears. And obviously, he's not probably going to be able to do one. I mean, he's going to try and charge down here and then go... Oh, that's not a bad idea. This Bane of the Steps is going to go through here. Round this little bit and then charge into the back of these bardings. And you can see the Uruk Spears have seen it. Uruk Spears have seen what's going to happen. And it's going to... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It needs to be careful. That's uh, spikes in the way there. They need to be careful they don't run back through there. See stuff burning now, and it's look, it's all going off. I mean, catapults resetting up here. This orange has got loads of ammo left as well for these things. That is concerning. That is concerning. There's a big blob of stuff here as well. Look at this blob. This is turning into a serious blob battle here. All Guardians against Morgul Legion. I imagine the Morgul Legion will win that because they got pole arms. It's a pole arm. Oh, I. Uh, Gonna say that was friendly fire from the Onager. Yeah, these pole arms and like got the range over the uh, Hall Guardians and like just their range and weapon. And you can see here cavalry now getting like fully engaged. What has happened here? This is a uh, service of the eye. I presume he's dead. And uh, yeah, he kind of like went into the rear of these archers and these uh, Hall and these uh, Hall Guardians. And now the Elven generals in here trying to kill him off. Best I can assume is happening. Gondor against the elves. What a sad sight. Sauron would be pleased. I mean, those Sauron's allied with Gondor, so does it really matter? And there you can see, look at this. This unit's basically gone. Two men left. Uh, this Servant's the Eye's got two left in it. Is there any cavalry left? I mean, this is General here. For Gondor, he's like the only cavalry unit left, I'm going to say. While uh, the attackers have their generals, both their generals left, and which are cavalry units. Interesting to see. I mean, Bane and Seps could probably take on this, this general. But do they have to? They don't want to overextend because then obviously like Gondor can bring up reserves or the defenders can bring up reserves and uh, support that fight. The Loki Rim actually won that fight against the Bardings. That's kind of surprising. I thought they might do it because it's, it is a sword unit against like archers, but it's a good it's a good arch unit. These guys are heavy bow infantry. Or very heavy bow infantry, I should say. They're really good. You see here, look at this. A serious blobbing going on is causing a lot of issues. Lots of... Uh, Shots going in here, and these guys are starting to lose this fight. They need to sneak around this little gap here. It's a little gap here that you could get around with a shock infantry. Get into the flank, try and just hurt those Morgul Legion. They also probably just need a retreat. Just play it slow. Let these uh, Varric Bowmen shoot these Morgul Legion point blank range. Oh, we've got a charge here. We've got a charge here. Looks like the Elven King's going after stuff. Oh, this could be risky. Cavalry and Spears with this Elven King. Yeah, that's risky. Get that Elven King out of there. There's Thranduil. He's trying to get out. He's like ordering his men out. He's like, get out of there. Yeah, they lost a lot of men there. There was a unit of 40, and it's down to like 33 and one random charge. One random and also probably not an advisable charge. And we've got a Las Garland Blades here on the wall that really need to get moving. Need every man possible. Every man, orc, dwarf, elf. You can see here these... Uh, oh my god. Dale is actually holding quite well against Erebor up here. Like, he's not even like... I don't think he's had to send too many like units up to support. I mean, obviously Mordor started this fight. Looks like Dale's going to end it. Or at least hold it, anyway. 
68, 100 and... Well, 100 dead. I don't know. Close. It'll be close. It's, oh, no. There is actually two units up there. Oh, Dale's definitely going to win that. There's two units up there against one uh, Erebor. Yeah, yeah, I imagine they'll win that. I think that's a little bit of a waste. I don't think you need to have two units up there. Same on this side. This is two... This is uh, two Gondor units. Might need two Gondor units there, but certainly don't need two Dalian units there to hold back one Dwarven unit. Especially when you're going to need the troops elsewhere. They're getting pretty pinned down here, are the uh, defenders. They're now onto their... Well, these units of men. I mean, this Loki Rim unit is actually beating the Dalian Swords here. I don't know how that's quite possible, but it is. The two factions, like, covered in, like, gold and in, like, their dark red uniforms. Oh, good shots there from the Catapult. Getting some really good kills on the, those Varig warriors there. Now they're actually going to be a charge up here by Cavalry. Elven King getting a good charge off on the uh, Knights of the Silver Swan. Getting the initial charge. That's very good. Um, where's the bait in the steps? He's over there. He's in the wrong spot. He really needs to be coming up like around here and supporting um, and and su supporting his Elven King. But yeah, there you go. Bait in the steps falling back. He lost a lot of men there for no reason. Uh, charging into Rook Spears. That was just never going to work well. You can see uh, that's just ended in... Oh, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Oh, thank God. Thank God. And you can see here, Varric Bowman getting sent into combat to try and help win this fight against Gondor Archers. Don't know why they didn't just go around this little bit here. That would have been a lot more uh, advantageous, put it like that. And then they're in. Into all these archers. Um, so yeah, the Bane Steps could either go one, two way, one or two ways. He could either go up, support the... Uh, Elven King, which is winning quite decisively, you can go up here, or you can go around this way. We've well, actually got three options. You can go around this way, go and take out all these archers, or you can go around this way, take out this catapult, which is doing some damage to his archers. But uh, yeah, we've got a general versus general, and surely the Elven King will win this fight. Like, Elven King is just nasty. And the Knights of the Silver Swan used to be good, but they've been debuffed. They've been debuffed, and also just like other stuff's come along that's just better. Which is kind of sad. But uh, yeah, actually now it's changed. Now the uh, Elven King's lo uh, losing this fight. Now the uh, Knights of the Swan are winning. And you can see that the uh, Bane of Steps is coming up to support this fight. Oh god, are they actually going to generally fire this point blank range? Quite possibly. A general has died. Oh, it's the uh, Elven King. The Elven King is there. Thranduil has fallen in this. So I mean, well, there's... There's no uh, no need to like just keep this unit in here then. I mean, well, they can. No need to pull it out. But there you go. Yeah, they're falling back at the uh, Knights of the Silver Swan because they have no... They have a risk. They have uh, a general still alive. The Elven King could fight on as long as he wants because this general's dead. Thranduil's dead. I mean, look at this though. This is a bit of a concern. They're now in. They have uh, broken the Gondor Archers here. And, uh, well, they are in behind. Cities ablaze. Is at 9%. Okay, wow. That is apparently noteworthy of it being a blaze. And, uh, I mean, look at this. They are holding everywhere else. Gondor is like... Gondor and the Vinland Guards here are holding with, like, bare troops. It's such a bloody fight. Such a bloody fight. And this is a huge blob here still. Don't know why the Capult's not been focusing this down. I mean, I hope it has been. Um, but uh, back up here, it looks like... Well, the cavalry, I think, try to go for a general kill. I'm not even sure. But we're trying, they're trying to take out the Catapult now as the Elven King. You need to be careful. This Knights of the Silver Swan's low, but he, I mean, he's got support with spears now. He could win this fight quite easily. Um, there you go. It looks like they're going to take out this catapult. Two generals. The Uruks need to get a move on and get supporting. Otherwise, they're just going to let Gondor's catapult just die. I mean, he's got quite a lot of ammo left from what I remember. And they're actually going to fall back with the general. Knights of the Silver Swan are going to flee. I mean, what are they going to charge at? There's bowmen down here. They could definitely just put a volley into uh, these Knights of the Silver Swan. Just gun them down. I mean, that's what I'd certainly do if I was a... Uh, oh, I was the Easting player. So uh, I, I should know that I should, should be doing that. What's it firing at? Oh, is it going to fire into the backs of these... Uh, might be firing into the backs of these guys here. Un unknown of what's about to appear. Oh, doesn't need to worry about it because, uh, well... The Elven King caught him. And what is this Uruk Spear do unit doing? It's kind of just ignored this whole fight up here. It like came up and just went, nah, I'm okay. And the, yeah, they broke it in here. They actually did break through. Look at the tiniest units. What is this? Four Hall Guardians and nine Last Garland Blades broke through. I mean, now the Varric Bowmen can come uh, spewing through if they want to. They've got no no ammo left. They have no need to be in here. And there you can see more Last Garland Archers coming up. All these units here losing for the attackers. That's insane. 
Look at the mix of stuff going on in there. You can see orcs. Uh, you can see elves. You can see men. You can see dwarves. All sorts in there. I was actually genuinely thinking for a moment after I said orcs. I was like, where are the orcs? And then I remember it's the Morgul Legion. They don't look like they don't look like orcs. They look too armored. They look like they should be like dwarven units almost because like their armor is just nasty. Um, but yeah, so that is Gondol's generally either dead or he's uh, broken. I think he might be just broken. I can't I can't be sure. Yeah, I think the, it doesn't say on any of the units that he's uh, dead. You see here, these Morgul Legion are actually uh, holding back all this uh, Grim Hammer stuff again. These guys are nasty. These Morgul Legion shouldn't underestimate them. They're actually falling back now, though, because you can see the cavalry's appearing. Cavalry appearing. Bane in the steps. Needs to fall out of that. Oh, he's going to be careful. He's going to try and pull through. The That's going to be nasty, yeah. That's going to be nasty. Yeah, Morgul Legion's giving the attack order on the Bane in the steps. Need to be careful. Just pulling through like this on a walk. You could just get your general, like, stabbed. But he's inside. He has made it inside. And there you go. The jet Bane in the steps... Charging in, charging at units as well, they're charging at him, and then he can go into the back of that unit there quite easily if he wants to. How has Ben the Steps General stopped dead? I do not know. He's been in so much combat. Cut them down. These men that have like shells for shields look so weird. And now that's it. That's going to be it basically. The attackers have uh, managed to overwhelm. It seemed like quality could overdo quantity in the end. And, uh, they are going to surround just about every single area. I mean, you can see here there's units that have just got off the, the wall here. A general has died. That's um, that's my general dying, the uh, Eastling general. But you can see these Dalian swords actually disengage from the fight up here on the wall to try and retreat and uh, rejoin the final defense. But it's going to be too late. Uh, and they're actually going to get charged down by Elven King. Go on, charge him. Charge. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Like The Dalian troops nearly closed the, uh, the ground and nearly got him in combat before he charged, but... No, not quite. And yeah, you can see the Dalian troops breaking. I actually don't know where Dale's general is. I presume he's this Vinland Guard unit here. Yeah, he is. Vinland Guard's here. How he's still alive, I do not know. But he's fighting Varric Bowman to the last man. Like an absolute champ. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been a really fun one to watch. Always enjoy seeing Rise of Mordor content uh, on the channel. And just enjoy playing it and watching it. It's so fun. And there you go. A Pyrrhic victory for the attackers. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the results. So, I mean, yes, I was playing as the uh, Eastlings, as I mentioned. Uh, my general getting 151 kills, which is not too shabby for him. Definitely could have uh, probably got some more kills if I had uh, been a bit more cleverer. I, uh, well, more clever, uh, cleverer. Don't need to put more clever. It's awful English. Uh, but my Eastlings getting 105 kills, so that's not too bad. Yeah, the low-key uh, rim uh, macemen. I mean, they definitely could do better. These guys... Uh, but unfortunately, like, charge constantly like servants of the eye, though. My Varric Warrior is getting uh, 89 kills, 176. That's not too bad. Again, possibly could have done better. And then my Loki March is getting 32 kills, but my Varric Bowman getting 245. So they did really well. So, yeah, well done to them. And then we've got Aiden, who was playing as the uh, Erebor tr uh, force. He got 286 kills with his Grim Hammers. Very nice. Um, his Axeman, the best one, getting 101, which is pretty poor for the Dwarves. They usually, like, get some really good kills. We can see, like, 19, 7. These guys, 15. These guys got, like, focused down by archers and, like, got no kills. Grim Hammers, 88 and 154. Again, I've seen these guys get, like, into the 300s. They definitely could have, like, possibly done better. And then his crossbow is getting 105, which is not too shabby for them because I never seem to get them to work or, like, fire properly. So it did okay there. Then we have uh, Mythic Yeet, who is playing as the Woodland Realm. 463 kills with Elven King Riders. Well done to them. They did really well. Then we've got uh, his uh, Lasgarn Blades getting 287, I think the best one. 214, another one there. Uh, his Hall Guardians getting 163, 102. I've seen these guys get into the 300s. So again, so I mean, they definitely could have been done in better, improved. And then his Lasgarn Arch is 104 kills, which is okay. Um, like They did okay. Then we have uh, Cool Breeze here. He was playing as Mordor. He was on the defense. Um, playing as uh, the servants of the with the servants of the eye, he got 186 kills. That's nasty. Another one here getting 128. So they did well. And then his infantry. I mean, like his archers got 111. That's not too bad. But like his only infantry that did well was more Legion getting 151. Really. And then we got Justinian of Rome, who's playing as Gondor. Uh, he 
his general height got overwhelmed, put it like that. He like just got killed, and I like, didn't get help from Cool Breeze's uh, spears. But yeah, he got like only got twenty kills. His uh, infantry just didn't seem to be up to like the fight. It seemed to get overwhelmed by uh, well cavalry, especially, and also like the dwarves and the elves. So getting like eighty four kills, the best one. His archers did a lot of supporting, getting quite a lot of dwarven kills. So like they haven't got like many kills, but they're like good kills, they're killing dwarves. And his other cavalry only getting six kills. So yeah, he definitely kind of didn't use his cavalry to full effect. He went after other cavalry, which is not a bad idea, but um. Yeah, he just it just didn't do enough. It just kind of like got overwhelmed by the superior Elven King stuff. And then we got a uh, Anzac who was playing as Dale. His uh, general getting fifty six kills. His Vinland Guards getting eighty one. His uh, Dalian swords getting one hundred sixteen, uh, which as you can see is so much better than the shipmen wherever they are. Where are the shipmen? There they are down there at one hundred only at seven. Sorry. Um, yeah, they're just awful. His uh, watch post sentries getting forty four kills. They're not great. Uh, so no surprise for that. And his uh, Vin Vinland Yard Patrol is getting 116 kills, which is not bad at all for them. And his Barding is getting 109, actually even worse than the Yard Patrols, which is a, a shame for them. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the three plays, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to see more uh, Rise Mortar content, let me know in the comments and also let me know with a like and a subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.